What's up, people of the internet? My name is Nathan, and today we are back in RL Craft for another video. In this one, we are going to do some construction once again on uh, the Silex farm. Uh, not once again on the Silex farm, once again, comma, on the Silex farm. On a Silex farm. Dang it. But, uh, yeah. We're in the middle of the winter. Uh, we got nothing but time while we wait for the spring to come back to us. It's cold. Nobody wants to be around here. It's miserable weather. So I thought no, no better time than to work on that Silex farm that I had thought about. So the Silex farm, the idea that I had, which was going to be very, very simple. Glass blocks around here. Two blocks high and then stone around here. And it'll just be like a big bowl. And the idea is that they can come out of here and we can eat them. No, we can use them for... Well, uh, flight bait. Flight, flight bait? I think that's what it's called. Uh, avian treats. That's the word I'm looking for. So, we might use cobblestone for this build, but we also might use stone brick. But more importantly, glass. Two stacks of glass might be enough, but it also might not be. Then there's also the problem of water breathing. So, let's see. So this is the perfect time to do it because the waters are shallow because of the uh, winter. So I'm thinking if we put glass here, right? So you put it anywhere where there was water. We'll put the glass. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll make a line with it. We'll make a real big line with it. This will be consistent, and it'll stay throughout the water. Boom. Look at that. So this is what I had idea. This was my idea. It's not the greatest idea, but it's not the worst, you know? It's a cool idea. I've done this once in a Minecraft world, and I really like this design, so I'm going to do it for this. In that world, I was just doing it for cosmetic sake, but this actually has a purpose. I'm going to hold fish captive. Uh, we're going to make this a straight line. I could have made it more bowl-looking to fit the theme. But, you know what, I thought, straight line, why not? We'll go for it. Achieve your goals in a straight succession. And then we will, uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, we'll put a rim around it, I think, and that'll look real nice. Um, to what extent, I don't know yet. Let me see. I'm happy with this. And then we could have a way to go around eventually in the future, so. Let's see here, if I go like this. <laughs> How far until I, I can just walk in a straight line to it? One more. Beautiful. Okay. That was not intended. And that was not intended either. But. Boom. So the idea is. We go like these. And we put glass. All around. Huh. That turned out better than I thought it would. So now the problem is going to be to get glass. So we need more sand, and that's going to be a bit of a problem, because we got snow now everywhere. Um, the bar was put down here. How is this stuff coming along? That's just water. Those were just water. Oh, nice. Okay, cider. So it's now, it's about to finish brewing. So now we can figure out how this works. Now, oh, it turns it all into a wine quality. 4.6. 0 0.08 this stuff is bad i believe you want it to be the best quality is 1.0 i have messed with this mod a little bit in other mod packs so i do know what i'm doing kind of this is a good cider this is a pretty shit cider 64 71 that's a really good cider so i believe i don't know uh but i believe you take it out you put it in a bottle so now we got 71 uh, bottles of cider into the right quality so if I'm correct, cider is made with apples. That's what we've determined. So, ooh, cider is going to suck. So we're going to put cider away. Okay, we're going to just do that. Okay, for one, I'm going to bottle the water. Okay, you cannot bottle the water. i got to take it just out. That's going to be a pain to do. Um, let's, let's, take the let's take the water out. I do know how this mod works. Um... It's just been a while, so it's it's a little odd to get back into it. I'd probably start with wild berry wine. So I was told that I made an, a happy coincidence, and I, uh, by making the brewing area, I actually did a real good for the future of the series, which I didn't even know. 
know. Because let's just say last time when I played this, this mod, it was just a quirky little thing. It doesn't actually do anything useful. So, yeah, times have changed. Things are different. So you're going to use a lot of bottles for this process uh, the way I did it. And see, what I think you do, uh, you pick your highest quality bottle. So this is all wild berry. So we'll do cider up here, and we'll do wild berry down here. So this is 44, 46, 22. So I'm going to order, organize it by, like, the really the worst of the worst. These are the runt of the litters. And then this one's a 46. So this isn't a bad bottle by any means. This is like God quality cider, so that's that's good. Um, so I think it's a random number based generator to get these cider numbers. I don't think there's any logic to the first numbers you get. I think it's all pretty random. I don't think like your base ciders like that you make is any different. Uh, well, I'm not gonna organize these ones because I'm lazy and we already know we have a clear clear winner. It's this one, the 71. So. You take your juices of choice. In this case, I have used all of the wild berry wine, which I kind of regret. Uh, how do I get more? Actually, realistically, you only need about a bottle of it anyway, I think, right? Wild cranberry juice. So if I put that in here. So what this does is it turns... This is the base quality of the wine. So the quality of the wine is 46. So then it's gonna mix with new juice and it's gonna hopefully make a better or similar quality, if that makes sense. So if it makes the same quality, we double our luck and we go for another round. And if we get unlucky, we, or if we get lucky and it goes up, you repeat this process until eventually you get 1.0 quality. So from what I've been told, this wine making process is actually useful in potions later on in the game to increase uh, and give you buffs like absorption and regen and bonus hearts, I believe. Which is crazy. I did not even know that this was a thing. I really like the Rustic mod. I think it adds a really fun part to Minecraft that I wish it had. Alcoholism. But, yeah. I didn't know that it was complete random luck that I did it. And I'm very happy I did do it, now knowing what it does. Because now I can get an early crack on it. And then when I do eventually get pretty far in we can uh, see where it goes, where it takes us. Uh, not enough glass just yet. So the idea is, in the spring, this is all gonna melt, and I'll fill it with Silexes, but until that time, there's no point in me to get Silexes now and fill it. It's middle of winter, it's not needed. And then I'll breed the Silexes. Now that we got a rock, I think it's pretty easy to capture Silexes and other animals. You just use the rock's power. So that'll also give us a reason to use the rock's power, which is, <laughs> the underlining reason why I did it is we got a bunch of grape things here. We'll take five bottles of grape juice and we'll siphon not all of them in. I knew uh, it's too late. Oh, no, it isn't. Nice. What I wanted to do is I wanted to siphon, put one grape juice in each jar because as you saw, you can get lucky or you can get unlucky. You can get an either really good quality wine or cider and start really high up in the chain or you can start really low in the chain. Now, I unluckily got... For this, a 46. We're about halfway to 1%, so it isn't terrible. I would have liked better, but, you know, you, you dealt the hand, you, you're dealt. I don't know if that's not really the saying, but uh, go with it. We wouldn't want that now, would we? Not for my master plan of keeping them forever. And we can go on the grass. The idea was not to just avoid the grass because it's not glass. But I just did it like this because I wanted to save glass. And then at the end of the day, I didn't even use the shoreline like I had thought in my head. So, Because I don't think it doesn't need to be too big, man. They're going to be annoying to breed in a size like this. But I'm thinking we get a bunch of fish. We put a bunch of fish in here and we make it a little aquarium and it'll look nice. And if this is a bad idea, well, I'll learn my lesson the hard way. Sometimes you gotta learn your lesson the hard way. But yeah, so after you get a 1.0 wine, you pretty much just save it for life and you keep making a bunch of batches of high quality wines and that's the process. I really hope to get one more batch done so I can show the next level to it, but I'll... Celebratory cake gone and polished. That's the great thing about Minecraft. If you don't like something, change it. Uh, we need to get a fence gate for that one day, but for now, 
it also could be an eight, an ice rink if I wanted to go uh, skating. So it is what it is. Okay. So let us see um, what we're gonna do. So that's just the base of the star, uh, the Silex farm. It's gonna be much, much better than that. So this wine starting out with a 4.6 or a point a, a not 4.6. So we'll see what we get from that. I want to make a crafting room realistically. Like a forge would be really cool. I'm thinking like on this side of the base, we just do a little forge. Ooh, I don't know. Come on, baby. Okay, so as you can see, we are now at four or not four eight. So the four eight wine is better than the four, uh, four, six by point two. So then what you do to replace the process is you, you make more wild berry wine. You make, take more wild berry juice, you put it in and the process continues. So now it's a four, it's a point four eight and it'll turn hopefully to a point 50 and you can repeat this process over and over and over again until eventually you have a 1.0 wine. So I do know the process. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, where's our crushing barrel? I think we should crush some wine and turn it into uh, barreled stuff. I think some barreled sauce would be nice to have. Let's start checking our wines and let's see what they do. So this one starting us off is a, ooh, a point 11. Better luck next time, you're not gonna make the cut. Next on the list, a point four. That's even worse than a point 11. Come on, we gotta get something good. A 31, winning the race for wine. Just a 31 though. A point zero zero five. This is crazy. These wines are bad. What about this last one? There we go. A 54. That's a good bottle of wine. So then what you do is you put your 54 in there and you make it a race and you get some more and you turn it into there. Now there's probably a better and faster way of doing this, but this is the way I did it back in the day on the other Minecraft mod pack. So this is our winning wine right here. So it's gonna turn into better juice. I hope you guys didn't enjoy this episode. It was a very simple one, nothing too complex. Next episode, I do have something pretty interesting in store. So I hope you do stick around. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I post every single week and I will see you all in next week's RL Craft video. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks for watching.